Welcome to the Nicholas 11 X12 technology. Today we're looking at the OCZ CS Series 650 Watt 80 Plus Bronze Power Supply. This should be a fairly decent PSU for the price. Alright, here's the box. At first I'll take off the plastic that's on the box. Good, once again we're looking at the OCZ CS Series 650 Watt Power Supply which is 80 Plus Bronze certified and comes with a 3 year warranty. This is how the box looks on this side and on the back you get a simple and straightforward description on what this PSU has to offer. Oh and it's also EUP ready so that's very nice. Alright and on this side you get the most important specifications of all. You get 552 watts and a plus 12 volt rail. That's fairly good and the amps are high too. The box looks very professional by the way. At first I didn't think I was looking at a power supply at this price range. But now let's open a box up and this is what you get. OCC is kind enough to include 4 screws for the PSU mounting in the case. Very nice although I would have liked it even better if they were black. Then here's a little note from OCZ. They thank you for buying that product and how you should return it if something goes wrong. Here's the OCZ CS series manual and yeah. Now let's get out the PSU itself. As you can see, that's a little hard here, but I did it. I'll put it down for a moment to show you the power cord, which looks very nice, I can't complain, and yes, I sometimes have complaints on power cords. Now here's the PSU itself, but I'll just go ahead and remove the plastic first. There we go, right away I have to say it looks very clean. A 135mm fan is used to cool this unit down. The side looks very nice and tidy as well. But it's actually noticeable if you're looking at the cheaper power supply. Here are the specifications again. On the plus 12 volt rail you get 46 amps at max and 552 watts. On the plus 3.3 slash plus 5 volt rails you get 22 amps and 130 watts. So that seems pretty good and I can't complain, especially when considering the price. This is how the unit looks on this side and on the back there are lots of honeycomb holes for ventilation. This unit comes with with a big power switch, I find these pretty good. Now I'll just go ahead and open the wire so we can look at the cables. There we go, it offers a decent amount of connectors. Right here for example is the 20 plus 4 pin power connector, the 4 plus 4 pin ATX 12 volt power connector, the 6 pin PCI Express connector, the 6 plus 2 pin PCIe connector, 4 SATA connectors and one thing I noticed here is that the cables are nicely braided down here but aren't anymore up there. In terms of performance there's of course no difference but beauty is another thing. So this really bothered me a bit. Here's the next cable with 4 SATA connectors and the same thing with the braiding is happening here too. And last but not least you got 4 Molex connectors and the rest also isn't braided. I'm a little disappointed here. But now I'd like to repeat the connectors. You get 1 20 plus 4 pin power connector, 1 4 plus 4 pin ATX 12 volt power connector, 1 6 pin PCIe, 1 6 plus 2 pin PCIe, 4 Molex connectors and 8 SATA connectors. So the connections are pretty good and I can't complain. 8 SATA connections are insane but I really like that. Now I'd like to show you the cable length. Here's the 20 plus 4 pin connector. Here's the 4 plus 4 pin ATX 12 volt power connector. The PCIe 6 pin connector. The PCIe 6 plus 2 pin connector. Here's one cable with SATA connectors which is very very long. I've never seen such a long one before but that's great. Here's another cable with SATA connectors and that one is a lot shorter but also isn't very short. And last but not least the cable with the Molex connectors. It's fairly long too and I really like that a lot. But now let's get to the specifications. The OCZ ZS series 650 watt power supply offers 650 watts of power and is 80 plus bronze certified. As for the cooling of this unit a 135 mm fan is used. Active PFC so power factor correction is also featured and an input of 92 264 volts is allowed. Of course this PSU also features the latest protection like over voltage, under voltage, over current and short circuit protection. It has a single plus 12 volt rail which has 46 amps and delivers 552 watts. The plus 3.3 slash plus 5 volt rails both have 22 amps and a combined max power of 130 watts. This power supply should deliver 650 watts at an ambient room temperature of 40 degrees celsius, so that sounds pretty good. The design of this PSU also looks pretty good for its price. It's a standard sized PSU compared to Corsair CX600 V2 power supply. It also should deliver more watts than the Corsair unit. The OCZ ZS series 650 watt power supply is a great choice if you're on a tight budget or don't want to spend a lot of money on a power supply. This unit will be able to power up a fairly decent system already, but don't expect to be powering up high-end systems with multiple graphics cards for example. This will not happen. But for the average computer, this would do it. If comparing to the Corsair CX600 V2 unit, this OCZ PSU wins in terms of performance because it offers more wattage. But OCZ saved a little money by not fully braiding the ANDs on the SATA and Molex cables. The Molex connections are a bit wobbly and this can be very frustrating sometimes. They could have used better connectors, but still for the price, not bad at all. The fan is also very very silent. Pros are, good price performance ratio, great design, 
It's very solid and you also get long cables. Lastly, most of the cables are nylon braided. For the cons I have two things to say. First, there's no nylon braiding on the end of the SATA and Molex cables. Second, the Molex connectors are wobbly and this can be very frustrating sometimes. Still, I give this power supply an 8 out of 10 and definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.